All right, so I'm working on Bob tonight. Uh, what we're gonna be doing to it is um, I'm gonna gas through the car. I love the way the gassers look. I'm in love with them. I love the way this car sits right now, but the sewage side front end that's on it, um, it's not safe for what I want the car to be. Uh, it's a lot of torque and tension on that front end, especially when I put a 409 Chevy in it. We're gonna build up pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this back just a few inches and put it underneath this cross member. Move the, the arms back a little bit. We're gonna lift the rear up a little bit and she's gonna be sweet, but we're just gonna focus on the front end tonight to mock it up. So stay tuned. Well, no going back. I, uh, <laughs> two years after having this car, being kind of scared to work on it because it's my dream car and I want it to be perfect. I cut out the front piece from that top right there, that little plate that's down there. It used to be there, we got about a 10 inch lift. I really did like how the way the car sat prior, but it was just a little dangerous with that suicide front end. So I still got a little bit of the stretch. Yeah, you know, I lost probably two or three inches, let's see, about six inches on it, on the stretch of the car, but I still got a little bit of length on it, which I like. So next I need to do is, I'm getting rid of the buggy style setup in the rear. I'm gonna do ladder bars and coil overs for that. And once I get that done, I'll probably recut this front piece out that way I can adjust everything and make sure everything's nice and straight and I'm not crab walking. I'm gonna have to adjust these because now I don't fit with those bars and they're gonna have to come down. So we'll see how it goes from there. Once I get this done, I can get the 409 start mocked up in there since I'll know where my pinion angle is gonna be at. <laughs> 